So the second of the Paul Moores finals. Now this is a four mile three and a half one, so it's exactly the same trip as the Grand National. Uh, let's take a look at the card. Oh no, we're not going to get a card. Well, there you go then. So this is going to be fun, isn't it? Because we're going to have loads of people who are doubly and probably even trebly represented. So nobody pressing the button too quick again and racing down towards the first. It's Yahoo in the lead for John Morgan. Ogham and Prejudice is in second for either James Shea or Thomas Rogers. And they're finally getting towards the first of the 30 fences in this. And over it they go. And they're all safely over the first then with Yahoo in front. And Ogham and Prejudice in second. And a gap back to Bridgewell leader. That's John Morgan as well as they take number two. Oh, good job. There's a four of their enemy flights gone, so that's enemy flight now. That's either Craig Beckwith or Darren Thompson. I can't tell you which, I'm afraid. And Yahoo is in front from Ogham and Prejudice in second as they come down to the third. And over that one they go. A bit of a mistake towards the back there by Victory Heights. Once again, we're also trailing them a little bit. Oh, we're looking from slightly behind them. So it's Yahoo in front as they get to the fourth. And over that one they go. All safely over it with Ogo and Prejudice second and Bridgewell leader the second John Morgan horses third and then Superior Ninja for Derek Hinton is after that one as they come to the one before Beaches and they get over that one once they get a bit more strung out we'll try and pick that as another fall of their combat Bonnie's gone so that's one out for again either James Shea or Thomas Rogers but it's Yahoo who's in the lead and well clear by about six lengths coming down towards Beaches Brook for the first time Gets over that one nicely. Oh, I'm giving that one plenty of air. Once again, no fallers at Beaches. I can't remember seeing a faller at Beaches, Brook, to be honest, in the SO series. But it's Yahoo's in the lead. Ogre and Prejudice is second. Bridgewell leader is third. Then Debancher Man for Alex Cherry made a really bad mistake at that one. Uh, has been overtaken by Superior Ninja for Derek Hinton. Then last suspect for Graham Clutterbuck. Then there's three in a line. Uh, one over on the rail is Sensitive Jewels in the yellow and green for. Craig Allen as they come down towards the canal turn the third of the John Morgan horses is magic of life in the centre of that three in the pale blue as they get over the canal turn the maroon and turquoise hoops of Zobadiah Cesano I think was second in the Grand National so it must be in with a chance in this one is next as they get over Valentine's and then in der Nacht is next after that one then Victory Heights and finally Panzer who is the bat marker so it's Yahoo in front then over the 10th. A mistake there was by Sensitive Jules. But Yahoo's in the lead from Ogreman Prejudice second, Bridgewell leader third, Superior Ninja fourth, Magic of Life is fifth, then Debancherman and Sensitive Jules after that one as they get over the 11th. And they're all safely over that with Last Suspect now the new bat marker. But Yahoo has been in the lead all the way so far over number 12 with a clear lead and he's sitting a stiff gun up here to Ogreman Prejudice in second swing towards the home straight now we'll take the two plane fences and then the chair and the water and then go around and do it all again so Yahoo's in the lead then for John Morgan with Ogreman Prejudice in second Bridgewell leader is third and superior ninja four and then magic of life and debancher man and sensitive jewels Panzers move forward a little bit, then elevated Splore and Zobadiah Cezanne and Victory Heights in Denacht. And finally, last suspect. So, just lost the two then so far. Compact Bonnie and Enemy Flight. As they come down to this, it'll be the second last on the next circuit. And over it they go. Panzer made a mistake in the red rum colours and is now dropping towards last place again but Yahoo continues to lead coming into this next one with a clear lead of two lengths to Ogerman Prejudice in second all over that one nicely as well with the last suspect still just the back marker elevated Splore is also towards the rear coming down towards the chair now then and Yahoo will lead them over the chair Ogerman Prejudice in second Bridgewell leader in third. Yahoo's a little bit slow over the track. They all were a bit ponderous getting over it, but they're all over it safely. And Yahoo continues to lead as they come down towards the water jump. 
with Ogun Prejudice in second. Good jump there by Bridgewell, leader in third. Superior Ninja is in fourth, and then Magic of Life is fifth. They're getting quite well strung out. Debanchaman is next, then Sensitive Jewels. Panzer is getting a bit closer again. Then Zobadiah, Cezanne, and then Indanakt. And then Elevated Splorn, Victory Heights, and finally, last suspect, Yahoo. He's in front by a length, racing down towards the fence that was the first last time round. Yahoo it is. But only by half a length now, so everyone prejudiced on his outside second. Gap of four lengths, then back to Bridgewell leader and Superior Ninja and Magic of Life as they get up. Oh, he's gone there, Superior Ninja. Superior Ninja's gone. So that's the third one to depart as they get down towards the next. Oh, Yahoo made a really bad mistake there, and so too did Magic of Life. So the John Morgan horse is making some mistakes. Indanakt has gone as well. So Indanakt is on seat to the rider there as well as they come down towards the big ditch now then. And... It's all starting to happen. Yahoo and Ogman prejudice over that one together. From in third place, Bridgewell leader. Then a gap of a good six lengths back to Magic of Life. Then Debancher Man. Panzer's getting closer. Then Sensitive Jewels and Zobadiah Cezanne as they get over the 20th. Oh, and Panzer's gone now, so another one's out. So the fallers are coming thick and fast. We have more fallers in this than we had in the Grand National, I think, as they're coming down towards the one before beaches. And Yahoo is in the lead from Ogerman Prejudice in second. Oh, and Yahoo's gone. Yahoo's gone while in the lead, so it's drama. Drama are plenty in this one, and that's left Ogerman Prejudice clear by about four lengths. So Ogerman Prejudice is clear of Bridgewell leader. Magic of Life is third. Debancher Man is four. Then a big gap back to Zobarda Suzanne. Who is next? Then Sensitive Jules over Beaches Brook they go. And they're all safely over Beaches as well with Elevated Splore. Now the back marker. So they're racing down towards the Fornhaven fence now then. With Ogerman Prejudice clear by five lengths. Being chased by a loose horse. Over that one they go. Bridgewell leader is second. Magic of Life is third. Then after that one... In fourth is Debancherman. There's a big gap then to the rest of them. We're headed by Sensitive Jules as they come down towards the canal turn for the second and final time. And Ogerman Prejudice is in the lead. Ogerman Prejudice then left in the lead when Yahoo fell. Gets over it nicely. Over that one they go. Down on his nose was Debancherman. Elevated Splore was slow at the back. But they're well strung out. And Ogerman Prejudice is six lengths clear of Bridgewell Leader and Magic of Life as they come towards Valentine's Brooklyn. And over that one they go. Really good jump by the horses. In second, Bridgewell leader, and there's another fall there. Zobar de Cezanne has gone. So second in the national, but out of this one. And it's Ogerman prejudiced in the leader. We've not got that many left. I think half the field has fallen. He's gone. Ogerman prejudice has gone now as well. Oh my word, they're all falling. And it's Bridgewell leader and Magic of Life who's been left in the lead. Bridgewell leader from Magic of Life, then Debancherman, then Sensitive Jules, Victory Heights is run as they get over the 27. The elevated explorer and last suspect, and that's all we've got left in the the Paul Moore's final. It's Bridgewell leader on the inside. Stable companion, Magic of Life on the outside. Victory Heights now coming through the challenge. Over the third, last they go. And it's Bridgewell leader in the lead, trying to get around the loose horse from Victory Heights. Then Magic of Life. Then comes Debancher Man, elevated Splore. He's come from absolutely nowhere to come through the challenge. They've got two more to take. Two more fences to take then. And it's Victory Heights who's gone on. But he's now being collared by elevated Splore. Debancher Man is in third. Then after that one come Bridgewell Leader and Magic of Life who both look beaten. They're coming down towards the final two fences then now. And Elevated Splore hits the front. Elevated Splore by half a length to Victory Heights in second. Then Debancher Man is third. Magic of Life is trying to run on again in fourth. So too Bridgewell Leader. Then Sensitive Jewels and Last Suspect. They're the only ones left. They're coming down towards the second last then. And Elevated Splore jumps it really well and gets away from it well. And he's five lengths clear now then racing towards the final fence. It's Elevated Splore. He's got one to jump. He's clearing the lead. Debancher Man is chasing hard in second. Then Victory Heights and Magic of Life is a long run in there, don't forget. Over the final fence, elevated explorer, slow jump, and Debancher Man is closing. Victory Heights third, Magic of Life four, it's elevated explorer racing down towards the elbow. There's still a furlong to go. It's elevated explorer in the lead, Debancher Man is getting closer. So too is Magic of Life, elevated explorer on the outside, Debancher Man on the inside, Debancher Man is beginning to close, Debancher Man is getting up on the inside, they're racing now inside the final half furlong, Debancher Man is beginning to get up. Here comes 
magic of life, the Buncher Man's in front, and the Buncher Man has taken it on the line. Growing elevated explorer and magic of life. Oh, goodness me. What a thrilling race that turned out to be. And the Buncher Man wearing down elevated explorer who looked like he'd stolen it. And the Buncher Man, the winner, in a thrilling race where more fell than finished. And. It's a win for Alex Cherry in the second of the Paul Moore's final. So De Buncherman for Alex Cherry is the winner. Elevated Splore for Craig Allen was second. Magic of Life for John Morgan third. Bridgewell Leader for John Morgan was fourth. And Victory Heights for David Hooney was fifth. Last Suspect for Graham Clusterbrook was sixth. And Sensitive Jewels for Craig Allen was seventh. And only seven finished in that one then. The rest of them all getting rid of the jockey or falling or whatever and there you go so what a thrilling finish for that one the Buncher man taking the Paul Moore's final for Alex Cherry